Hi and welcome to Sadie Spincraft. In today's video we are going to be dyeing some alpaca and some Shetland fleece. Um, these haven't been processed, they've just been washed. So we're going to basically just dye the washed wool. Um, I also need to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. And welcome back to all the subscribers that uh, have been with me all this way and this crazy journey of mine. So, yeah, let's get to it. I'll get the uh, pan of water heated up and we'll do the same as we did last time, take it outside because this just isn't tall enough for the big pans that I have. So, yeah, I shall get everything prepared and I shall be back very shortly. So this is boiling water. I don't know if you can see all lines in the bottom, but we're gonna go with the alpaca first. It's three gallons of water to one quarter cup of citric acid. I don't know how much alpaca I've got. I'm just shoving it in. I'm not gonna put my hands in. I'm just gonna let it soak in because I really don't want to burn myself. Oh, don't want that in. So I'm just going to allow this to soak in and then we'll start using the dye. Oh, I've got a spoon. Let's use the spoon. Just get some of it soaking up this water and citric acid. I do apologise about the noise of the children on the back street. If they do start getting a bit noisy, I will turn the volume down and start doing a voiceover. There is air bubbles within there, but I'm not going to worry about that. So to start off with. I'm going to use yellow and it's jacquard yellow and it's whatever I've got left. Oh no, we might not use all that. So that's the yellow. I do advise to wear gloves, glasses and a mask. The only reason why I'm not is because I never do. <laughs> I never do. <laughs> right, got Kelly Green here from Jacquard and I probably will use all that. With that, we're going to use sour apple from Dharma Acid Dyes. I'm just going to come to this side because I find it easier doing it with my right hand than my left hand. So I'm going to put a bit of that in there. And we're going to see the difference between sour apple by Dharma and the Kelly Green between Jacquard. So I've got those in there and I'm just going to make sure all this yellow goes in. The sour apple seem, I mean the 
Kelly Green seems to have worked itself in. And then I'll just give the sour apple a quick pat. And what we're going to do is we're going to leave that, move it to one side and get the other pan ready for um, the Shetland. So let's just zoom in a bit so you can see. Whoa, that's a bit too far. Two secs. So as you can see, the yellow's there, the Kelly Green's there and the sour apple's there. Sorry about the, uh, let's just take you off and see if we can't get you a bit better. There we go. I think the sun is kind of making it go weird and it's not focusing for some reason. I do apologise, but we'll come back to it soon. I'll just try and get a nice good look at it. Right, I'm going to go get the other pot. So, here's the other one. Um, this one, we are going to add the Shetland. I do apologise if I knock anything. Give that a quick wipe. This has got the same in, about three gallons of hot water and a quarter cup of citric acid So here we have the Shetland nicely submerged. I'm not going to leave it so. I'm going to let it just do what it wants to do. And I'm going to add Delphinium Blue to one side and Bright Aqua to the other. So I don't want to put too much in. I just love delphinium blue. And then the other side, I'll just walk around here. You could probably see it better if I, while I'm covering it. I'm going to do this bright aqua. that spoon. I'll do it this way around so you can see. So I'll just make sure the delphiniums all in there. And then same with the bright aqua. I do apologise about the noise. I think they're playing football. So, that's both Shetland and Alpaca done. I'm going to leave these for about 20 to 25 minutes. We'll come back and check uh, whether the dye has exhausted. That's nearly done already. I think I may have to add a bit more to that <laughs> it's nearly gone but we'll see see what we've got underneath I'm not sure but I think I may have to add some more delphinium because 
it's already gone in but we might get some nice pinks I didn't really want any pink um, I am going to add some more delphinium just because I don't want any pinks in that so I'm going to do a do it round the edge So what I'm doing is I've just added it around the edge and I'm just going to pull that back so that it mixes in to the bottom and then underneath I'll get some of the same rather than the pinks. I just don't mind that going lighter but I don't want any pinks if you know what I mean so that's why I've added more delphinium. I'm hoping for more, more pinks. Do you know what? I'm going to add some more to uh, Bright Aqua as well. But I'm going to add it to the middle. So. I just don't want any white and I don't want any pink so hopefully that will now help things along so I'll be back in about 20 minutes I may be adding a bit more because the delphinium is really soaking it up but we'll see I mean the Shetland's really soaking up the delphinium it's, I'm not used to it striking so quick maybe I've put just the right amount of uh, dying I mean citric acid whereas I think I've put too much in the uh, alpaca I may have to uh, get some more but we'll leave it as it is going. I'm just going to leave it as it is green and yellow. I've got an horrible feeling the yellow's going to disappear, but we'll be fine. So, yeah, I'll be back shortly. So, I've just been <laughs> explaining that uh, I don't have enough alpaca to soak up the colour so I've got some mucky alpaca that hasn't been washed and I've just put some there and I'm going to pop some down here by the yellow because we've still got plenty of dye within and it's not exhausting so I'm just going to add this mucky alpaca here and hopefully soak up some of that dye so I'm just trying to get all this nice and so you can see the lighter bits that are what I've added. So I'm just going to allow that to kind of move around and pick up all the excess dye that we have left. But chimp much now, so we're doing all right. I'll be back again in about 20 minutes to check and see how this is going and while that's doing that let's just check I do believe we can near enough wash the Shetland as well because it's just a bit of bright aqua left and not a lot at that either but the delphinium's all gone so yeah another five minutes and I'll be able to wash the Shetland as well it's in <laughs> the netting, drying up, 
Look at it. So that's the Shetland. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? And I don't understand why my camera's so rubbish at the minute. It might need a good clean. But that's the Shetland. Yummy. Let me just take you to the alpaca. Look at that. Just let me get my other hand in. Look at that. Look how vibrant that yellow is. And then you've got all these greens. Bright green, dark green. And then this is the other stuff that I added in afterwards. How cool is that? So yeah, these are nearly dry. I'll show you them when they're fully dry. So here we go. Look at this. This is the Shetland. So you've got the bright aqua and the delphinium. It's still broke, even with the amount I put in. But that should just blend in nicely because there's not too much of it but I might not want it to I might just want it all them different colours that's amazing and then the alpaca I mean wow look at that yellow look at that that is just what you call absolutely stunning and no it's not felted let's look I can just pull it apart there's another bit let's see if we can just Open it up. I can't do it with one hand. <laughs> Lean you on there, see if you'll. But yeah, look. Absolutely stunning. There's a tip. Opens up absolutely wonderful. So I am going to be playing with these in a bit. Um, I do believe I'm going to make a couple of bats. I want a couple of alpaca bats. That didn't actually do much so I'm going to take that back out that little bit put it in with this and we're going to dye this so for that we'll have blue over it I am going to uh, don't need that one because that's taken but yeah I'm going to do this part of the alpaca um, the blue the bright aqua and the delphinium because that's what I want. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to do some more, but you won't see this one. Simply because I'm just going to be dying all day. And I don't think you need to see everything. Um, yeah. And then I'll be sorting it. See, that's a different grade. That Once it's dyed, I'll remove those little bits. They're a different grade to the softness like these ones. They're just like fluff, pure fluff. So anyway, I'm just babbling now. So no matter where you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing. And don't forget, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I'll see you all again soon, my beautiful people. Bye.